Hello, welcome. In this video, I will be talking about mind and health. Some of you might wonder if there is any connection between our mind and our health. Well, yes. There is a strong connection between our mind and health. To understand this, you need to know the definition of health. According to the World Health Organization, health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of a disease or an infirmity. Yes, your mind can have a positive effect on your overall physical health. Let us see how the thoughts and feelings affect health. Our brain produces substances like endorphins and gamma globulins. Endorphins are natural painkillers which help to reduce pain, whereas gamma globulins boost our immunity. Research shows that your thoughts feelings and expectations affect how your brain produces these chemicals say you are sick and you have negative thoughts and emotions which can keep your brain from producing some of these chemicals that help your brain to heal on the other hand you have a positive attitude and you believe that you will get better then your brain is likely to produce chemicals such as gamma globulins to boost your body's immunity and healing power. One such example is cancer survivors. It should be kept in mind that our thoughts and state of mind are resources that we can use to get better when we are sick. Now let's see what leads to poor emotional health. The things happening in our life can lead to disruption in our emotional health. It can be in the form of sadness, stress or anxiety. Some of the examples of these things are death of our loved ones, getting fired from our job, financial issues that we are facing, getting a divorce or even having a chronic illness. Now, what are the signs of poor emotional health? These signs might vary from person to person. It can include extreme tiredness, headache or feeling sick, sleeplessness or insomnia, constipation or diarrhea, increased blood pressure, a weight gain, or a weight loss. Poor emotional or mental health basically can weaken your body's immune system, which will make you prone to getting sick during emotionally difficult times. Another thing to note is that when you are feeling stressed, anxious or upset, then you may not take care of your health as you should. Like, say, you may not feel to do exercises or eat any nutritious food or may even abuse alcohol, tobacco or other drugs. We have so far seen how our mind affects the functioning of our body. So say you feel like your emotional health is disrupted. What can be done to manage that? We will be talking about this topic on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Thank you for watching.